What's up guys? We're currently in front of the Hermosa building at the Bonoficio Heights condominiums. This is a complex built by the DMCI builders and uh, it's like a low to mid-rise building. I would probably classify it more on the low rise and I uh, definitely want to check this place out. Some of the two bedroom units here start as low as 19,000 pesos a month. It's just 55 square meters. So I'm about to check out one today that's at about 30,000 square 30,000 pesos per month. I'm about to check out is near the ground floor. I think it's uh, the third floor. I think there's only like four or five floors in these buildings and uh, it should be 55 square meters, 30,000 pesos per month furnished. A little bit on the higher side because they do start at 19,000 pesos per month. But yeah, I definitely wanted to check this place out. It looks cool and it's uh, situated right in, right near southern, the south part of BGC, Bonificio Global City. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. Da -da -da. So this is the third floor. Okay, we're gonna meet there down on the end for the corner unit. Okay guys, I'm super excited to show you this unit. It's a two bedroom unit, 32,000 pesos per month, fully furnished, 57 square meters. It also has two bathrooms. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like just outside the unit and then inside the unit. I'm super, super excited actually about this one. Really excited about this one. And uh, one parking slot is included. So let's check it out. Up right here, you've got like a balcony. It's kind of like, uh, the outdoorsy feel the typical dmci so we've got uh you can take the stairs or you can take the elevator to get up here and then it's just kind of like the hallway basically uh, all the way down there for the other units but uh yeah this place is it's nice it's very nice reminds me of like a like a mid-range airbnb for some reason that's what my first thought was when i walked in here this feels like a mid-range airbnb if there's something i would rent in like uh, a different country <laughs> so it's 57 square meters it's a very open layout. As you can see, it feels really big in here. Compared to my 36 square meter place in uh, Lincoln Tower right now at the Presidium at Rockwell, this feels like it's literally double or triple the size. I can tell you right now, my girlfriend would love this place because it's not a typical high rise. So you can walk quickly to get to the ground floor or you can obviously take the stairs of the elevator, but it comes uh, equipped with a <clears throat> built-in cooktop right here. It's got the range hood and uh, yeah this is a really good sized kitchen and uh got like a bar right here but like i'm not used to since i've been living in the philippines for six months now i'm not used to having like such a big a big uh interior for an apartment i'm used to having such a small apartment and this feels like it's literally two to two and a half times bigger so on the left here here's the secondary bedroom so this bedroom and bathroom we're about to look at is the secondary one not the main one but uh this would be perfect i can tell you right now my girlfriend would love this because uh, she has a lot. Well, she likes to have her own private space when she's packing her orders or doing TikTok lives and stuff like that. So it looks like there's a balcony out there. I'm not sure how to get to it, but there might be a balcony. So there's a pullout bed already put in here, which is cool. And uh, we're in Manila. We're in BGC, believe it or not. We're not out like in the middle of nowhere. We're, we're in BGC, Bonificio Global City, which is why I can't believe the price of this place for the size and what you get with it. So very cool, very reasonable option. I actually really like this place. Just got to clean it up a little bit. That's always clean it up a little bit, but uh, the, the floor tiles look nice. So let's check out the secondary bathroom real quick. But uh, yeah, very reasonable bathroom. You know, we're not looking for like high-end finishes or anything like that in like a, a bathroom like this, but like just overall size though, is very reasonable. It's big, it's a big bathroom. And uh, again, just needs a little bit of cleaning mainly. That's about it. So just slowly come this way. Coming back to the main living area for this uh, looks like this couch was literally custom designed to fit the space got a very rather small tv right there but you know you can easily replace that tv with a bigger one and uh, potentially a wall mount it but uh yeah that's that's super convenient as well and here's the master bedroom in this case so and uh both both bedrooms had uh window window air conditioning units that's important to note so not sure how i feel about the paint color in here but i do like the size of it this definitely feels a lot more like an American bedroom. I don't know why, it just feels more American to me than Philippines. It just looks like it's more complete. Um, this wardrobe is literally taking up a gigantic portion of the bedroom, but uh, that's okay because obviously you can use that sp uh, space for storage. Probably put your luggage up there in the top and then uh, your clothes and everything in there inside. And then uh, it looks like um, there's windows right here and there's literally a balcony, but it looks like the balcony is literally sealed off. So <laughs> there's balconies, but there's no way to get to them. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. That's a little different, but um, it's kind of swooping back slowly this way. Do do do. Got a queen size bed in here. We'll go check out the master bathroom. 
But uh, yeah, the bathrooms are really good size. So again, nothing too crazy on the finishes, nothing really that high end. Uh, looks like there's a ventilation right above that sink. That's interesting, never seen that. They have a window as well for more ventilation. And then they have just, uh, yeah, again, not the most aesthetically pleasing thing in the world, but very big, very big for sure. Location also really nice, just got the place cleaned up. And also, don't forget about the, uh, I'm gonna spin the camera around. Why a place like this would have such strong appeal to someone like me and especially my girlfriend is because it's just kind of be nice to be closer to the earth, to the ground, instead of living way up right now on a very high floor in Lincoln Tower, Presidio, Morocco. It'd be nice to be closer to the ground and have more of a country, suburb, rural type feel, but still being really directly right in the city of Manila and right in BGC actually whilst again still feeling like you're kind of in the provinces in a sense with a bigger space at a low cost uh while not compromising whatsoever if you want to have the city aspect uh being close into the urban development especially you know if you want to go out to dinner or something so this is super cool it's very big it's one of the it's it's awesome this place has a 4.5 on google and has over 500 reviews i think i checked this morning I like 511 reviews, 4.5 out of five. And um, if that many people are giving it a four or a five or a three, that means that it's probably pretty good as far as management goes, the servicing of the place. And I'd have to read in between the lines and check. But uh, yeah, there were places that were around this size that were half the cost, around 19,000 pesos. And uh, if it's possible, I might scope those places out as well and like know the differences. This is a corner unit, so it might be more desirable. And the layout might just be super ideal in this unit because when you walk in, it's so open. So that could be some of the reasons why it's priced a little bit more. But yeah, I'm really liking it for sure. Uh, I'm going to talk with the leasing agent here and see if perhaps we can check out uh, some of the amenities that this place might have to offer. Also an air conditioning unit in the dining room as well. So there's actually three air conditioning units in here, one in the dining and uh, one in each bedroom. So that's also important to note. So very cool. So this is what's called a drying cage. Uh, basically, there's these cages on the roof and uh, there's a washer in there and then you can basically dry, air dry everything so nobody can take your clothes, of course. So it's kind of like a locked air drying washer and dryer outside. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. It's a, it's a beautiful day out. It just rained recently, but uh, yeah, it's the first time I've seen dryer cages. That's, that's unique, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can check out the pool and fitness center and uh, basketball court. I think they have those here, so yeah, that's where we're headed. The thing that's so great about this place is that they just have planted trees like literally everywhere. So many trees all over the place, as you can see. Got to love it. It's full of trees. Coming upon a playground area, very colorful, that looks nice. Looks like they've got a basketball court over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Cool, looks relatively well maintained, so that looks fun. Don't know if it's first come, first serve, if you're, you'd have to reserve it or not. Got a pool right here and a clubhouse. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that looks pretty, oh, it's a good sized pool, yeah. Very nice, very cool. Yeah, it seems like this place has got the typical amenities covered pretty well. Gonna find out if they have a gym or not. Hopefully they do, I think they might. Okay, so they do not appear to actually have a gym, but it's all good. There's actually an Anytime Fitness uh, relatively close that you could uh, potentially get a ride to or drive over to if you have your own wheels. But uh, yeah, this place comes with a basketball court, a playground, a clubhouse. I think it said function room and they got a pretty nice lap pool over there as well. So it's almost fully stacked. But uh, yeah, they also had a place where you could get a haircut or get uh, waxing services done that looked like it was right on site. And uh, I don't know if there's a convenience shop. I think that I did see a sign that showed me that there's like a little restaurant or cafe or something. So there's a little place on site where you can also get some foods, I believe near the clubhouse. So yeah. Yeah, this 100% feels like we are in a uh, rural or suburban area of like somewhere in the United States. This reminds me of like a uh, suburban area in New York, actually. This looks exactly like it. It doesn't feel like Philippines. It feels like I, just teleported out of Manila to a totally different place. So that's something highly unique about this place. It's just like the way the parking, the parking is, it's like, there's so much parking available and like everyone's just parked neatly, like in their lanes. And uh, that you just don't see that ever. At least I don't like this, like that does not look like Philippines. <laughs> that looks like, uh, like pretty much any of the States on the East coast of the United States. So I think they're taking a lot of inspiration from that country, our country, the U S.
I'm, I'm just guessing. I don't know for sure. That would be my take on it, but this does look like a nice place to live. It looks like it's doesn't feel or look like Manila. It feels like you're outside of Manila. And again, it's a low rise. Looks like there's about five floors. Can get up and down very quickly and uh, very spacious, very low cost. And it's still somehow in BGC, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, everything except for a gym. So that's pretty cool. And just like, look at these parking spots. That does not feel like Manila. <laughs> It just feels like everything is so spacious here. The parking feels so spacious. It feels like a different country for sure. It's, so, nice job DMCI on this on this place. Very nice. Very cool. Kind of just getting a last minute glimpse and check over everything. And this place has the standard DMCI protocols. Like when you first enter over there, uh, there's like a guard or two or three just hanging out. Then you go through and give them your ID or whatever if you don't live here. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Holy cow, the airport must be pretty close. It's literally an airplane like right up there. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> that airplane was like so close, wow. But yeah, this place is definitely a contender for sure because uh, it brings a lot of uniqueness to the table. If I have a chance to look at some other units in this, uh, in these buildings, in this project, I definitely might. I know my girlfriend would definitely love this place because it feels so much more like we've stepped outside of Manila largely. There's just giant plants and there's green everywhere and everything's way more spacious and it's, it's low cost, but yet somehow in BGC. So this is a super unique property, really nice place. I like it. Definitely something to consider, without a doubt. This is what the front of it looks like. Yeah. 